Dawn, the 29th of September, 1990. Test pilot Dave Ferguson taxied the first prototype YF-22 onto the runway at Lockheed's Palmdale, California facility. Almost 10 years earlier, the U.S. Air Force had formally identified the need for a new air superiority fighter to replace its venerable but aging F-15. Lockheed Martin Aeronautical Systems and Boeing's Military Airplanes Division first joined forces in 1986 for the Advanced Tactical Fighter, or ATF, competition. The team was eventually selected the winner by the Air Force on April 23, 1991, and awarded a $9.55 billion Engineering and Manufacturing Development, or EMD, contract. And on that day in September, as the sleek warplane lifted off into the early morning, a new age of advanced tactical fighters was born. During this initial phase, two prototype engine designs were also tested, and the new Pratt & Whitney F-119 engine was selected to power the F-22. Prior to winning the competition, the F-22 team conducted a 54-month program involving the design, construction, and flight testing of two prototypes. The second fighter left Palmdale a month after the first and flew to the Air Force Flight Test Center at Edwards Air Force Base. The current EMD phase of the program will last until the year 2002. Nine aircraft, including two tandem seat F-22Bs, will be built and flown, the first flight scheduled for May 1997. The Air Force plans to procure 442 F-22s, achieving operational capability with the fighter by 2004. The F-22 will counter the increasing sophistication and threat of hostile air forces and integrated air defense systems in use around the world. Threats that the F-15 will no longer be able to counter will be defeated by the lethal and survivable F-22, with its balance of supercruise speed, range, enhanced avionics, and stealth. This fighter will provide air superiority for U.S. forces well into the 21st century. Powered by twin Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines, which are rated in the 35,000-pound thrust class, the F-22 is lightning fast and maneuverable, and will provide a first look, first shot, first kill capability through the use of stealth and advanced sensors. The F-22's advanced airframe design, control surfaces, vectored thrust engines, and integrated avionics will give its pilots an edge in close combat. Thrust vectoring allows for quicker, tighter turns, short takeoffs and landings, and superior combat maneuvers. The F-22 will cruise at sustained supersonic speeds without using afterburners, a capability known as supercruise. This reduces the aircraft's infrared signature and greatly expands the F-22's operating envelope over current fighters in both speed and range. The F-22 will carry a full complement of medium and short-range air-to-air armaments, all in internal bays. These include radar-guided AIM-120 medium-range missiles, heat-seeking short-range AIM-9 sidewinders, and an internal 20-millimeter Gatling-type gun. In addition, the F-22 will have an inherent ground attack capability as it can carry internally two 1,000-pound joint direct attack munitions or JDAMs. Other significant milestones achieved during prototype testing were a successful deployment and release of the spin chute. and high alpha testing, during which the F-22 demonstrated an unprecedented 60-degree angle of attack without loss of control. Stealth, speed, agility, advanced integrated avionics and armament, the F-22 has the muscle to sustain sortie rates twice those of the aircraft it is designed to replace. It provides an unstoppable force, ensuring future victory for the U.S. Armed Forces. The F-22 is premier American technology committed to excellence for air domination in the 21st century.